Right, so Tickle Me Morbid Productions offers a unique take on comedy, creative writing and performance. They produce innovative and original shows with raw and local talent who want to establish themselves and get noticed. So today with us is Benji. Hello there, Ben. Hey man, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. So, Spoiling. Yeah, it is roasting there, isn't it? You need to get that aircon on. <laughs> um, tell us more about your company then. Um, well, basically, we uh, started uh, about a year and a half ago. Um, and it was just after I graduated from uni, just me and my friend. We wanted to create something uh, where we involve all our actors before we go off and do our own thing. Um, it's like a variety show, uh, mixing comedy, music, all our talents. And we wanted to produce it in Northampton, keep it local. Um, and it was a success. And after that, we just got together and we thought, we want to create some more shows and um, make a company out of it. Uh, so we started Tickle Me Morbid. Um, don't, the name, I have no idea where it came from. There was no tickling involved, Just it just came about and we just liked it. Um, and everyone came on board with it, really. And then, yes, yeah, six shows later, one in London, um, and one just a month ago in Edinburgh Fringe, and we're kind of setting off. So how can the name Tickle Me Morbid just come out of anywhere? <laughs> Did um, it really just literally come out of nowhere? I don't know, it's just like... I guess tickling is associated with laughing, like, oh, you tickled me, oh, I'm tickled. I think maybe that's just me, I don't know. Um, and then, like, morbid, we just our sense of humour, like dark humour, um, laughing at awkward situations, and we just put it together. And I, thought, I think that's maybe where the reason is, I think. Um, what can the um, company offer? Um, what I wanted to establish is, if you've got an idea... Anything, I mean, everything that's uh, appealing or it's attainable, we can actually manage to do it. Um, just just get in touch. Um, most, of, most of the people and actors I've come across who are interested in it, they're either comedians or they've got uh, scripts they want to show. We get together, we write some stuff, and then if it, we work around it. And if, and if we like it, we just produce it, get some venues and production companies to kind of back us up, and then we go from there. So is it a variety of people that are part of the company or is it just one or two roles? And what is your role as well? Oh, it's a mixed bag, literally. It's it's just spontaneity. One day I might wake up and I might be the catering manager. I have no idea. I mean, what we want to try and offer is, um, at the moment I'm writing solo and then I hire loads of actors and people that I know that I've worked with in the past. Um, but I've been director, uh, I've written all the shows I've done so far. Um, the Edinburgh one I co-wrote. Um, and then... Basically, I could be a producer, director, uh, hire some backstage staff. I've got uh, two of my uh, artist friends to design a set for me in the last show. Um, and it, it it's basically for them to get experience on their CV. Um, they'll be good for like any interviews or their uh, repertoire and stuff, and then move on from there. So you say you've got show and audition opportunities. Tell us more about that for people that would like to get involved. Yeah, I've got I've got so many, seriously, just so many. Um, I'm affiliated with a production company um, in MK as well, and I'm also in Birmingham, and um, they want us to write some scripts for either some plays, sketch shows, or short films. And uh, because I'm primarily a writer, I've written all these shows, and I just need loads of just quirky, charismatic, just fun people that are ambitious, um, that can show something. It doesn't always have to be about comedy, uh, even though we specialise in that. It's just getting some local people, get their raw talents out, um, and just to find their confidence. And, you know, like, there isn't a wrong answer. You can do anything and just show yourself, just prove yourself. You know, just impress people, I think. And is it hard to recruit in new people? Is it hard to get your name out there? Oh, definitely. I mean, I, I always feel, I mean, I'm doing the unconventional way. I can get myself an agent. I can... Um, you know, I can I can audition constantly. I just wanted to show something that I had, and all my most of these shows are my imagination. Um, so getting my name out there, um, you just have to have passion, determination. Just wake up every day, email people, um, notify people that you got a show on, you got an idea. Um, and if they, if they, they're on board and they believe in you, then you know you can create something really cool. So so um, tell us about your upcoming shows. Upcoming shows, right? Um, just my. F- one of my colleagues, uh, Jason, uh, he went to uni with me. He's a writer, um, and he's written a comedy about a social comedy about a waitress and a, and a writer who uh, fall in love through inspiration. And it's a it's it's kind of like a, an American sitcom th- uh, transition into a play. Um, and we've got a London theatre that uh, really liked the script that they read of us. Uh, and maybe we've got one coming on in January in the Courtyard Theatre. Um, so yeah, we need we need a few acts for that, and there should be a casting soon. 
Um, so yeah, this is one reason why I wanted to come on here was to kind of throw my number out there and an email address, and then if people want to get in touch, then they can. So you've said that you play up and down all, uh, the country. Yeah. What venues do you like to play? Oh, it's such a variety. I mean, I've 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 been in tiny little rooms, um, ranging to just awkward rooms, um, the back of pubs, outside courtyard theatres, um, so many. And uh, I think the best ones are the intimate ones, the ones where you go in and it's got that musty smell, like it's been there for years. And there's so many shows, so many great talents have been there. And like, you just go in there and you just come alive. Um, and there's just this atmosphere. So just anything, anything. So if people want to get involved and uh, find out more info information about auditions and the company in general, how can they get in touch with you? Uh, you can either contact me directly on my mobile. I won't bite. I'll say hello. Don't worry. Yeah, just you can email me ideas, sketch ideas, and I'll keep in touch. And if you know, we just get on with things. So there you have it. If you'd like to get some work experience and get in touch with somebody who can get you into comedy, creative writing, and performance, you can contact Ben John 07596. Five two four zero one seven, or you can get in touch on tickle me morbid at hotmail.co.uk.